everyone. Welcome back. Our topic for today is one of the most common dental problem, tooth decay, usually referred to as cavities. Did you know that according to National Institute of Dental and Craniofacial Research, tooth decay is the most prevalent oral disease in both children and adults, even though it is largely preventable. To stop cavities, it is essential to know what is cavity. Our mouth is home for hundreds and thousands of variety of bugs. Whenever we have food, the harmful bugs will feed on the sugar in the food and release acid, which is obviously not liked by the tooth. This acid comes in contact with the healthy tooth and over time dissolves the tooth, ultimately leading to a hole or a cavity. If dental caries is left untreated, it can cause sensitivity, pain, infection and even tooth loss. So why is DK so common? What are the factors responsible? Let's divide it into two uncontrollable factors. These are the ones which we can't change, simple as that, which are not in our hands. On the other side, controllable factors. These are the ones which we can change. Our tooth is made up of lots of minerals, which make the teeth stronger. So the more mineralized the tooth, the increased resistance to decay. Vice versa, the less mineralized tooth means less resistance to decay. Saliva also plays a very important role. It acts as a defender against cavities. It has antibacterial action and is also rich in lots of minerals and reduces the chances of developing decay. But some people may have saliva which actually favors decay. It could be because of low quality of saliva or by the side effect of some medications which reduce the flow of saliva and hence increases the chances of decay. These are the factors that you might have won or you might have lost in the genetic jackpot. That's the reason it's important to focus more on the controllable factors. Sugar is a known culprit to cause decay. That's why it's crucial that we reduce it, especially the added sugars. To be honest, it's not easy to give up sugars on a long run. Therefore, we can plan for sweet time. Few tips are the frequency of consumption of sugars should be reduced. Cut down on the quantity of sugars. WHO recommends to limit added sugars to less than 10 teaspoons for adults and less than 5 teaspoons per day for children. Avoid having unhealthy snacks between meals. Rather have with meals to limit the number of times your teeth are under attack from acids. Chewing sugar-free gums can help your mouth produce more saliva, which helps to wipe out any acids that have been formed. Avoid sugars before going to bed, at least an hour before, because you produce less saliva while you sleep. Be mindful of medications that contain sugar and seek the advice from a doctor for sugar-free alternatives. Sugary drinks like soda, energy drinks contain high level of energy but very less nutritional value. Fluoride. Consider this as a tooth savior. This is a mineral which makes the teeth stronger, resistant to decay and the best part is reverses early decay. That's the reason fluoride is added to drinking water and majority of toothpaste. And it is advised to brush twice every day for at least 2 minutes. Spit it out but do not rinse with water to maintain the levels of fluoride in the mouth. Above 8 years, you may also use fluoride mouthwash, but make sure to use it at a different time than brushing. In the clinics, fluoride is also used in the form of gel or varnish to protect the teeth from decay. Tooth decay is a dynamic process. There is a constant war going on in between the bugs and the tooth. Let me show you how. The acid attack on the tooth happens every time whenever we eat any sugary or starchy food. On every acid attack, the tooth loses minerals. However, our mouth tries to fight back. Saliva tries to restore the lost minerals. But if this acid attack happens repeatedly, then the tooth doesn't get enough time to heal and hence loses the battle. The outermost layer of the teeth, called enamel, is the strongest substance in the body. If the bugs are successful in destroying that, then it will not take very long for them to reach the inner layers of the teeth. And once that happens, it's not reversible. 
only in the initial phase it is possible to reverse decay. That's why it's important that we fuel ourselves with healthy diet, maintain good oral hygiene and visit your dentist for regular checkups. Hope you find this video helpful. If you like it, please share it with others and play your part in protecting teeth for life. And please do let me know if you want to hear more from me by subscribing to Meet Your Teeth. Thank you.